Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import expenses into QuickBooks Online using Z axis. So first off, what is an expense in QuickBooks? So QuickBooks treats expenses as purchases made for the business. Now these could be cash purchases that are made out of petty cash. They could be purchases using an electronic check or with a physical checkbook, or they could be credit card type purchases using the company credit card. Now these purchases can be either for items or for services that are expendable, or they could be for items that you're receiving into inventory. So you're purchasing to be resold later. So you're probably familiar with QuickBooks and its ability to import bank statements. And so you're probably thinking, well, I can get a lot of that detail in from my bank statement into QuickBooks using the direct bank feeds. But with Z-Axis, we can import um, not only from uh, text files, from Excel files, or from IIF files, we can also bring in a lot more detail of different fields on expenses, such as items, um, inventory items, the particular names of those inventory items, as well as whether they're um, to be billable for customers and so on. So there's a lot more richer detail that we can use when bringing in using Z-Axis. Z-Axis also has some powerful features such as um, allowing you to auto number, allowing you to search and replace on fields. So we can manipulate a lot of the data before we bring it into QuickBooks. So let's go ahead and I'll show you a demonstration of how Z-Axis imports that data, expense data, directly into QuickBooks Online. So I've opened Z-Axis on my desktop and now I'm going to connect to my QuickBooks Online company file. So after completing the login process, um, you paste the tokens into this screen here and click Save. That will finalize the process and Axis will connect to your QuickBooks Online company file. Next, we're gonna select the Import tab and we're gonna to browse to the file that contains the check purchases or check type expenses that we're gonna bring in. So we, with Z-Axis, we have a number of sample files that you can use and sample templates that you can practice with when importing. So I'm gonna select the check purchase and click open. So what you'll notice is within this sample file, um, the first row has the header row and that describes what's in each column within our import file. So we know that we've got um, three types of check expense here and we've got um, some more detail about who the payee is and the items that are being purchased as well as the amounts. So next step in the process, we're gonna create a mapping. So we select add new mapping and we select the transaction type as check purchase. And we're gonna go through the process of matching the QuickBooks online fields in this column to the columns in our import file. So we can map the, the document number, can map the date, and so on. Now, for check expenses, they can either be for items that are purchased for resale, and this, these are held within this section here, or they can be for expense account type purchases, and they will, these are the fields in this section here that identify those. So it's an either or type transaction. So in this sample, I've got a combination of both, so I'll show you that. So we'll go through and map these amounts up. So I've gone through and mapped up the mandatory fields as well as the core fields that we're gonna to use to create these check type expense purchases. Um, what you'll notice, there are a lot of other fields available in here. So that's where you can provide a lot more detail over what you might be able to do natively within QuickBooks. Um, we're also able to save these mappings so you can repeat the import um, on uh, the next time you came with this data. So finally, I'm just gonna give the um, mapping a name and click save. Next, what you'll notice is the um, only the columns that we mapped will be displayed. 
Now we can go in here and we can actually change you these as we need to. Um, and then we can begin the process of importing directly into QuickBooks. So during the import process, Access will validate that the items and the expense accounts and the payees exist and then begin the process of directly importing those into QuickBooks Online. By clicking on the View button, we can now see the check that we just imported into QuickBooks and has the detail there. So that's very simply how you can import transactions from InBatch, from text or Excel files or IIF files directly into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis.